they don't like to be sat and compressed. So I thought, hmm. Okay, when I first took the building on, when I quit my day job after having signed a lease for three years, and I had literally eight weeks worth of money to live off. So that was my leap of faith. That was my gamble. And it extends far beyond what you can see here. It goes into the back room as well, which has got another 40 or 50 works of art in there as well. So the whole thing, the whole collection is pretty much at most points in time, always sort of 95 to 100 pieces strong. So I think if you can come here and see it, you can really immerse yourself in every single kind of style, every kind of shape, every kind of colour. So building the gallery has been an expensive exercise, but one that's just paid dividends many, many times over. And ultimately, it's just a great place to, to put the paintings where you can really see what they're like. The sculptures are, uh, are an interesting project. I've been working on them for about probably 18 months on and off. And really just uh, as a kind of a voyage into the unknown, really, I wanted to, to take what I was doing with paint and canvas and just try and make it a bit more dimensional, just bring it into something you could walk around instead of just looking at. So once I've started off with the ones for indoor, the idea is, is that hopefully I'll take the ideas and go outside with them and uh, do something you know, on a very large scale for, for gardens. I've had to teach myself some, some new skills and how to manipulate metal in these, which are an aircraft grade aluminium, um, quite an unusual material to work with. Because of all the ideas that I've got in my head, really, that this was bound to happen sooner or later. So I think it's been a very, very interesting exercise to do them. I'm really glad, actually, because it's, it's, it's another avenue to take your creativity in. But I like them. I like them. I think the finishes are fantastic. They're very unusual. And uh, hopefully that's something that sort of typifies them as being one of my pieces of art. But just something that you don't hang on your wall, you can put on a console table or uh, somewhere where people are going to see it. I just think that's kind of nice, but let's see what happens. The commission process is quite an interesting one, actually. I always paint two variations, no matter what, uh, for a client. And what you've seen in this video is actually a real painting for a real client. I always do them side by side because it's nice to interpret a theme in some slightly different ways and by having two laid out at the same time I can make changes between the two so that's why you see two quite similar paintings being done at the same time so it will be obviously interesting to see what the client thinks about that. So to go from absolutely nothing from delivering parcels out of the back of a van to this point in just a few short years, I think is extraordinary and, and is a testament to the hard work that I've put in. But also my colleague Adrian, who's my best friend of 20 years. Uh, so it's important that I talk about him because he's now these days very fundamental to what goes on here. He's a, very much part of what goes on. And I just really want to see how far this will go now. So I think, you know, the next few years is going to be really interesting to see where we can take this. So, so that's my thought to me. I don't, I'm never satisfied. <laughs> never satisfied with anything. <laughs> could always be better. Could always be bigger. Um, can always have more energy, more colour. So I think as long as we keep progressing that way, it's going to be a very interesting few years, I think. Um, this is not like selling toilet rolls, is it? This is something very personal. So I think, <laughs> I think it's going to be good fun. Good crack for the next few, few years anyway. But uh, anyway, I've, I've put sugar in your coffee. I'm awfully sorry about that if you don't take sugar. But anyway, well, I'll have it anyway. Cheers. <laughs>